One of the long-standing names in the four-wheel drive aftermarket industry in Australia is Safari Engineering. Best known for their air intake snorkels, which four-wheel drivers have been using for decades to keep their engines clean, out of the water, getting fresh air. On the back of that, we've now got the Safari Armax ECU for diesel engines. And we're here at Safari's HQ in Melbourne to have a look at how that system works. We've got Dwayne Evans is the engineering director with us. Dwayne, welcome to us. Thank you. So the Safari Armax ECU is an engine control unit which is designed to increase the performance of your vehicle. So our focus was to give more power, more torque um, to the vehicle, um, better drivability, less turbo lag, better throttle response, less fuel consumption, but protecting the engine at all times. We install a thermocouple into the exhaust pipe and monitor EGT. We do torque reduction on gear change monitoring. We do a, a bunch of different strategies to look after the vehicle in all, all assets. And that's why we give you the peace of mind with the engine and drivetrain warranty. It's pretty amazing technology. And I guess integrating those systems, it comes from your own testing you do with the products before it even comes to market. You do a lot of kilometres with them. Yeah, 100%. This is uh, four years in development. Um, we've done a cumulative more than 100,000 plus kilometres with these um, units and vehicles, ensuring that when the product went to market, that it was totally 100% reliable. The unit itself is pretty heavy duty. Yeah, one of the biggest things we did was this was thermal shock testing. We can actually go from 110 degrees to 10 degrees within 20 odd seconds and have no influence. IP68 rated, so it means it's completely dust proof and obviously it can be continuously submerged in water, obviously, beyond one metre. It looks like a professional piece, it's really nice, you, you feel in your hand, it's, it's a solid piece again. Yeah, it feels like a real quality piece. It's, it's got all of the latest technology inside here. We've used all of the top shelf components because vehicles these days are complex, they're expensive. We need to have this kind of solution these days comes back to that no compromise. No compromise, Matt. It's exactly what the slogan is, is no compromise. Thermocouple, this is rated to 1500 degrees Celsius and we insert this into the exhaust pipe. We never get anywhere near that temperature, but we wanted to make sure we had, there was plenty of headroom in it and there was plenty of obviously durability in the sensor. And so if you fitted this on a standard car and later you put a bigger exhaust on it, yep. it's just a matter of getting a different program. 100%. It's, it's less than 60 seconds to load that program in. Any one of our dealers around Australia can do it, or we can do it remote live for you at your home. Matt, this is one of the most underrated topics in four-wheel drives, is wiring. We went to a lot of trouble to, one, make sure that this handled the underbonnet temperatures. Obviously, it can handle water, dust. We use all gold-plated terminals throughout the whole loom, and even our um, communications port's got an IP-rated cap on it. So Dwayne, you've got the laptop plugged in here now, straight into the ECU over there. And what's the program? What access has the owner got that he can see here? Yeah, so that we, I have an interactive page that the, that the customer and the workshop can use to diagnose problems, look at values, check how their car's running, or if they're just curious, they can, they can use it, you know? So we have our M1 Tune uh, software. We've got live data here. Everything says it's okay. There's nothing flashing here, which means that the system is running without issues. And we can monitor, obviously, and see our engine speed, exhaust gas temperature, throttle pedal, fuel pressure, uh, manifold pressure, and obviously our temperatures. And we'll start it up and have a look. Yeah. So a pretty cool feature. The customer doesn't have to be looking at the screen while he's driving down the road, because that's not safe. So what he can actually do is pause it and then rewind it. So if he's looking for a particular RPM or a particular throttle position, you can go back and look at it. That's right. The blue run is recorded when the car was standard and unmodified, and it basically simulates the car in map five position, which is standard. The red line is maximum power and torque, and this shows the, the difference between a standard car and a car with the Armax ECU fitted. This achieves a 30% power increase and a 30% torque increase. Come away from Safari headquarters in the company's Land Cruiser 79 series double cab. The reason we've chosen to drive the 79 is that being a manual, you get a better feel of what the 
Armax ECU can do in its different modes. You can just put in one gear and feel the difference. It's out here when you get out on the hills, the steeper climbs, low speed corners, you really feel the difference. We've got it running in the position five on the button now, uh, which is basically your standard ECU. It's the standard settings for the 70 series. And you can feel it, it gets along okay. Still very torquey, standard Toyota V8. Click the button up to position one, which is comfort mode, and that straight away the throttle response picks up. It's a lot sharper. Go down one more, you're in sport, and this thing's a weapon. The response is incredible. You put your foot down, and it is straight away right there. This thing just launches into the scenery. It really, it gives you an extra gear coming out of these tight corners. You run it in this standard OE setting and you might be coming back to second gear for these corners. In the sport and comfort modes, you're coming out of there in third gear. Just a much easier car to drive, more pleasurable to drive. I'm pretty impressed with the way the Safari R Max ECU works on this Land Cruiser 79. It's really woken the V8 engine up. It gives it the performance you want, whether it be for towing, or off-road use, just carrying a heavy load. It makes the Land Cruiser a much nicer car to drive, much more enjoyable and more relaxing in the higher gears.